Hello and welcome back to some more Transport Fever 2 related goodness. My name's Joe and today we are continuing on with our Transport Fever 2 series. And before we head right into things, a reminder, like this video if you do in fact like the video and subscribe uh, if, you, uh, if you want to see more. And uh, fingers crossed there will be lots more to come relating to this series. Now you find us on the Maryport Bricks train heading down to, no surprises there, Maryport. Uh, now the Bricks train is a little bit longer than last time, I've had to add some extra carriages to it because uh, in fact I've had to do a few things to it since, uh, since last time. This map has caused me an absolute headache and I have gone away uh, so as not to bore you with sitting and waiting. I've been on this all morning now with it on fast forward, uh, we need to actually start the date again. There we go. Um, because it just was not making money. I mean our bricks train there is longer. Uh, we had to make some pretty urgent changes so as not to uh, so as to avoid bankruptcy. You'll see now the lines are intertwined and uh, if we go on the line editor you can see that uh, we've now got a little one-way system in place. Uh, between where this line branches off. We've also got double track. We've had to double track uh, because we had to double train, uh, as the uh, as usually is the case, um, because, like I say, we just simply weren't making money. I haven't played it on normal difficulty. I normally play easy difficulty just because I like building things, but don't want to go on sandbox because I think that's cheating. So, you know, I kind of want my cake and eat it at the same time. Uh, so, yeah, I've not played on normal difficulty for a while. Just pop some more loam back in. Uh, and I did forget that you have to kind of be a little bit more conservative with your money in uh, in normal difficulty in the early stages. Uh, so we've got the, the bricks coming to Maryport. We did actually fill up Maryport completely. You'll see it's got a little bit bigger since the last time you were here. And uh, so we had to put, oh, because Maryport was full, the demand for bricks just died off. So the demand for stone just died off. And that is another one of the reasons that we nearly ended up bankrupt. So we've had to put this, uh, you'll see here, it is called the Rescue Bricks Service. Uh, and that is a truck service taking bricks from the train so as to uh, increase demand. And we follow it down here to this rather scenic and uh, not at all done on the cheap uh, bit of road here running down the peninsula and uh, over this bridge. Because Henley and Arden, we talked in the last video, uh, does want bricks and we are now supplying Henley and Arden with bricks and I think it was literally the sole introduction of that line uh, which has saved our bacon here uh, so yes I've had it on fast forward for quite a while I've paused the date so that the uh, you find that the steam era doesn't disappear too quick and just looking at the finances there you'll see that we uh, we're making money we, we're breaking even I've managed to repay five and a half million of the loan, so we're on a uh, current four and a half million. We're going to use probably all of that today. And uh, today we are going to transport some passengers from Maryport. Uh, now, I've got a vague idea what we're going to do. We're going to focus on this island, because we're on this island anyway uh, for the time being, and we're going to run a nice coastal route up to Bexhill on Sea. Bexhill on Sea is currently untouched and uh, what we're going to do as well, set myself a little challenge, we're going to try and always expand from the current network uh, so we're not just going to do some some things over here and then fly over and, and start doing food to Hornsey you know we're always going to have to build on our current network which, uh, which is what we're going to do today uh, so yeah fingers crossed uh, we it will all pay off. I mean, granted, we've we've touched on uh, bankruptcy already. I'm hoping that's not going to happen again. So we're going to pop a station in the centre of uh, of Maryport, and I think uh, are we going to bus station it? Are we going to bus stop it? I think we will. We'll pop a bus station outside Maryport. Or outside Maryport Station, we'll pop it at 20 metres. I say all this, we've got no money to do that. We're going to have to borrow some money. I'm going to try and keep the, the amount of borrowing as low as possible, simply because um, then we're going to have to repay it every month. 
and uh, and that's that's not good. Right here, pop that in there. So that will be Maryport lower Maryport. Uh, I think Maryport interchange. Perhaps if I can uh, type it properly without sausage fingers and uh, Maryport bus station. Creative names as always. Uh, so we are going to uh, now. What can we do with that? We'll pop. I think we'll just bus stop it. I, I don't like doing circular bus routes. Not a fan, if I'm honest. Uh, and, 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 and there. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of the circular bus route. It has to be said, but because it's cheap. Our Maryport's not very big. Uh, we're going to go with that. So Maryport bus one, and uh, no points and no prizes for guessing uh, what that's going to be. Maryport bus seven. Aha! Threw you a curveball there. Uh, no, for my own OCD, I couldn't possibly live with that. Uh, Maryport bus two. Uh, there we go. So we want. Should we shove eight buses on it? The bank says no. Uh, we'll pop another 500,000 in the bank. We won't have eight, we'll have six. Uh, not 68, certainly not. There we go. One, two, and three can be on bus one. And four, five, and six can be on bus two. Excellent. So they can be doing their stuff. And uh, we'll fly over to Bexhill on C. Let's have a look at what is where. I always try... Uh, and I, I emphasis try, or I emphasise try here because it doesn't always happen to get the station near the commercial district. Um, but a terminus station here could prove rather tricky, unless of course. No, but what am I saying? It's not going to prove tricky in the slightest. Uh, pop now bus station there. There we go. And our train station. Can we can we get it on there? See that's nice, but we're gonna end up with right, uh, move you. The devil is in the detail and, and I know that at this point in time uh, we can't really afford to be uh, messing around and being picky with what goes where. So we'll, we'll pop you there and uh, we'll, we'll spin you around, see how much room we've got, because I don't really want to destroy those houses, partly because it's not very big. Uh, what, what's the town called? Bex Hill. Bex Hill isn't very big, so you don't want to be destroying things, but also it costs a fortune. Uh, so we are going to, we're going to go with some single track action here, see if we can keep it level. There we go. Is keeping it level going to cost a fortune? Yeah, I think we can just about manage for now. Again, I'm going to try and keep the uh, the speed limit as high as possible. But this is just a little coastal railway. It's not. It's never going to be uh, as far as I have currently planned. It's never going to be a big uh, railway with lots of fast things running down it. I mean, obviously, everything that I say now is subject to change because we never know uh, what's going to what's around the corner. And then we'll head back inland because I mean we could go all the way around there, but that's just extra distance for no real reason. We want to be as direct as we possibly can. Now let's just zoom in and see what's happening with the level crossing because uh, sometimes, I mean that that's looking pretty good. Sometimes the level crossings, if you build the tracks over the road, can come out uh, rather awful. Uh, but today, luckily, that's not happened. And uh, there we go, out of cash. Pop another 500,000. If only uh, getting money was that easy. Has that done it? Uh, yeah, that's done it. If only getting 500,000 pounds was as easy in real life. And uh, right, okie dokie. Now what we're going to do as well is uh, we're going to pop a loop in there. And we'll have that run to about there. Is, is that... I'd say that was about uh, a bit further. To about there. 
we're going to want two trains on this. And uh, I'm really bad at guessing dif uh, distances. So uh, I normally have quite a long loop. Which begs the question, why not just double track it the whole way? But uh, yeah, that, that's what we're doing. Saving money where we can. That's about, yeah, that's about halfway, isn't it? I forgot we need to go with the uh, the one-way signal uh, to avoid catastrophe. And uh, yeah, that's that's looking good. Awesome. Right, and uh, just to be a further cheapskate, rather than actually build another depot, how, how much does a depot cost? Let's have a nosy. 19,000. Uh, can we connect it to... No. Right, another depot it is then. That's just a rough... Uh, so we'll have a depot outside Bexhill on... Uh, not Bexhill. What's it called? What's the place called? Begins with an M. Maryport. And I have uh, Maryport Depot number two. There we go. Maryport Depot... And, uh, and yes, right, okie dokie, so before we start the train running, we're going to fly back over to Bexhill on C. And we're going to build some extra roads here. Where are we now? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Nice and straightforward, like that. And the reason being is so that we can have a nice circular uh, style bus route. Pop a stop there. Lovely. Easy peasy. Uh, no... Expense spared. Pop you there. And da uh, da 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 and da da. Best hell bus one. Should we stick four on there? I reckon four buses. We probably don't need four. We could probably get away with two, but uh, we'll give them a good service. So that is uh, there. We go. So we'll call this the. Uh, the Bexport. Nope, that sounds dreadful. The Maryport. No, we won't. We'll get there in the end. The Bex Hill Coaster. Uh, I, yep, that's that's creativity on my part. There you go. That's about as good as it's going to get. So if you were hoping uh, hoping for more than that, you are very much on the wrong channel. Uh, so back in the red. That's where we seem to be spending most of our time on this uh, on this particular map. I wonder if we can get away with uh, get away with taking another two million. It's obviously going to be the D third because we have uh, we have no other option at this point. We'll take eight coaches. How much is that going to cost? One one million. Eight coaches is looking good, and uh, we'll, we'll just take a bit more out and have another one. Can we, can we have another one of you? Yeah, we can, thank you. There we go. So pop you both on the Bexhill coaster. And uh, let's have a zoom in. There we go. We, we have our first passenger train. And uh, yeah, isn't that spectacular? Well worth waiting for. If you've made it to this point, yeah, there you go. You know you've spent a nice uh, 13 minutes or so of your life. Definitely well spent there and not at all wasted. So we'll, uh, we'll have a little ride along. The speed is uh, is just mind blowing. Ooh, what what's happening with the sound there? Who knows? Gremlins in the system. Why is the uh, why is the sound going a bit funny? No, oh, there we go. Seems to have uh, seems to have rectified itself now. It's uh, it's a shame that Transport Fever doesn't have the uh, the same system that the likes of uh, Transport Tycoon Deluxe have where in, uh, in the early on game that train would arrive and you'd have a newspaper article flash up saying new land speed record of 25 miles an hour and all the residents would be like wow 25 miles an hour you think they, they were very easily impressed in the, uh, in the mid 1800s weren't they so you're going to head back out, carrying no passengers, of course. And uh, all the way over to Bexhill on sea. Now what's happening over here? Have we, have we got some people? There's people waiting for the bus. Excellent. Uh, where are you going? You're going into town? Oh, you, you, Millie Robinson. Very smartly dressed there, Mrs. Robinson. She must be going for the train. Oh, here we go. 
Hell, they uh, look like the Ugly Sisters from Cinderella. That, that sort of, oh my goodness me, here we are. Ah, oh, they're all at it now, look. Sensational. Where are we all going? Four people. Oh no, that's the house. Five people waiting. Where are all the buses? Well, ah, there we go. They're all coming now. Ah, I do hope they're going on the train. That'd be brilliant if they were. But we've got a nice coverage down in Maryport of the uh, of the bus. It's all good. I'm hoping that this will actually start to make some money so that we can build some more uh, more impressive projects uh, in the future. We're gonna uh, we're gonna again stick the fast forward mode on and uh, and get some things accomplished here. Ride along up our coastal route here. Isn't that nice? No, uh, no drops in the level crossing there. Nice and smooth. Right, you see, people would pay good money to ride on this. I'm quite proud of our efforts there. You realise quite how uh, how well or how much the transport fever scenery has come along in transport fever two. I mean, all of these trees and, you know, the shadows and everything, it, it really has come along such a long way since Transport Fever 1. I was watching a video on YouTube from Transport Fever 1. And, uh, like, it really does, uh, it's come on so much. Uh, there we go. Uh, just realising that I'd turn my graphics setting down. Who knows why? Nope. There we go, round the bend into Bexhill on Sea, where we have people waiting, 12 passengers. Excellent, and uh, no hanging around there on our train's part. Straight round and back out. As the train coming the other way, got anybody? Two, two people. Anybody at Maryport? 14, way, this is, this is slowly but surely taking off here. That's what we like. I mean, we're, we're in the red again because I think that the, the bricks trade is just about scraping by and now that we've added the passengers it's not helping there, look at that, Bexhill coaster minus 335,000 let's just keep hoping that that's gonna pick up because oh my lord if it doesn't start picking up uh, we could be in bother there bricks train making another delivery, hello to you sir we could probably do, actually while we're here and while we've got the money, with another 10 vehicles or 5 vehicles uh, as the uh, my accountant seems to think that we can afford another 5 vehicles on here because it is uh, getting rather busy we could also look over to the fact that there's a lot waiting here and uh, 161 waiting, that's not the right train, that's the stone train 161 waiting and you can only carry 56 and uh, yeah, so we, we could really do with just expanding the bricks operations as well while we're here. Can we stick another another few vehicles on there? Nope, another two. Can, can we stick another? Nope. I don't actually know how much one of these costs. Hmm. There we go. Anything happening on the passenger side of the business? Ah, 31 out of 48. Things are going good. What's coming the other way? 12 out of 48. Well, we'll let them off. Bexhill is only uh, only a very small town. 31 out of 48. That That's good going. We can only assume that uh, the people on board work in the brick industry. And they're all off to Bexhill on their summer holidays. Because I mean you would, wouldn't you, if, if, if you lived on this on this map, Bexhill, nice. You've got like the harbour and, and out to sea there, we're assuming that that's just sea. You know, that this is a nice place to have your summer jollies. Nice and chilled out there. Just a good amount of people. Excellent. Oh, it's, it's all coming together nicely, almost as if I'd planned it that way. I honestly wish that I could sit here and say that I had planned it this way, but every episode here is just winging it and hoping for the best. I find that uh, it's more fun doing it that way than having a plan. 
I only say that because I'm no use at having a plan. I seem to be quite good at just winging it. So we'll put more of those uh, on there, taking the bricks away. And then uh, we shall look over to see if we can pop some more wagons on here. Yeah, you see, uh, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to keep keep working on this. I mean, the stone there's so much stone coming, but I just can't transport the uh, the bricks away quick enough. I mean, another train ideally, but then of course if you put another train on, uh, that's going down quicker. I think we'll just about cope with that from the stone, but then these little trucks here are not gonna cope. We could really do with a train round to Henley and Arden, but that's just, just light years away at the speed that we're going at the minute. It's not good. I mean, you're going to drop off here now. I wonder if we can stick some more stick some more coaches on. Uh, oh yeah, we're in there. Right, one more coach can afford. No, it's, it's, it's one more coach. One more coach is good. That's an extra four things transported. But it, we'll have to... Have to uh, Work very small. Think small. <laughs> how, how are we doing over on the... Uh, the Bexhill Coaster is losing less money. Excellent. Can the buses help at all? Nope, the buses aren't really stretched to capacity. How about over in Bexhill? Yeah, yeah, you're not really stretched to capacity either, are you? I mean, you, you can only transport the passengers that actually want to travel. 4 out of 8, 24 out of 8. It's, uh, you know, perhaps we were a tad optimistic with 48 uh, capacity trains. But I'm confident that that will start making money. It has to start making money. I can't lose. We can't lose. We're, we're two episodes in now. And that would be very embarrassing. Come on, why, why do you not want to travel? Why do you not want to travel, guys? Come on, look, there's this wonderful passenger train here, which is just waiting to, uh, to be explored. Look, go, go over there to that island. Not island, to, to Bex Hill. Go over there. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, while, while that's doing its thing, let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, other potential routes of expansion. Uh, simply because um, we are waiting for things to happen, and I absolutely hate waiting for things to happen, as I'm sure you do. I th I'm sat here like trying to think of interesting things to say and little tidbits of information you might think, oh, I don't know that. Um, because I just hate the fact that uh, that nothing's happening. We're not building anything, and it's always the case in uh, in 1850, the early 1800s. It is always the case. Uh, so I think we've got the the potential for passenger lines down towards Northam. I mean, the original uh, rescue line did actually come out this way through Maryport, over this bridge and round this nice little, avoiding the farms, because uh, heaven forfend you destroy a farmer's field, it costs you an absolute arm and a leg, and, uh, and it came all the way round here, but I found that I needed at least 50 vehicles, and it took forever, uh, which was why we had to demolish, uh, or, well, we didn't demolish, I could have probably had some money back out of that other road, but we had to build this one because it was more direct, but I was thinking here would be an ideal place for uh, for our our railway route to come out, so we can out of the passenger station, we can stretch it round here and along this this little hump. We could flatten, but do you know what? I quite like it. This it's it's not got a reason for being there, but sometimes the best things in life are there just because they are. Uh, that could lead to our train line splitting off, heading down the coast to Northam, and uh, and round here over to Henley and Arden and Axminster. I think that'll be quite nice. I really do. 
Uh, but of course, none of that's going to happen unless you lot start making money. I think we also need to look at Bexhill on Sea. If we want that to grow, uh, we're going to need to look into supplying it with some sort of goods. Uh, it does, of course, want food. Now, food is a great one, except there's nowhere to make it round here. The closest one I think we've got, uh, just having a look, is down near Morley. Morley Food Processing Plant. Um, yeah, that that's about as close as we can get there. I mean, we've got a farm, we've got a couple of farms, they're just sat here laughing like, <laughs> you can't do anything with us. And that's really annoying. Uh, but obviously, I think maybe next time we're going to passenger down, and then we can expand off for the, for, for, for the food. Yeah, that, that seems like a plan. I know I said that we were going to have no plans, but it appears that having no plans isn't working, as you can see in the bottom left from the bank balance. Other than that, we shall leave it here. If you've made it to this point uh, in the video, congratulations, you must have nothing more interesting to do. But uh, alas, I do thank you. Uh, like I say, like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, um, which, I mean, I've given you plenty of reasons not to like the video, but if you feel that you need to click the uh, the dislike thumbs down button, please don't just do it and run off. Do uh, do let me know in the comments as to, as to the reason you have felt uh, the way that you have. Let's find something interesting to watch, actually. Something, uh, there we go, we'll, we'll follow him round. Yeah, so uh, do, of course, let me know if you uh, if you do click the dislike button as to why and of course if you did enjoy it subscribe hopefully this series is going somewhere I mean we're back in the uh, in the white money or the blue money or the black money we're, we're back in not the red money uh, so fingers crossed things are starting to come together we are uh, starting to turn a profit and uh, other than that I shall hopefully see you next time cheerio goodbye for now